it's Chad Hauser with New Look Pro Shop here in Calgary, Alberta, Canada. And today we're going to discuss finger inserts and how to make them flush with the bowling ball. As we know our governing bodies, USBC and CTF here in Canada, it is a rule that states that finger inserts or anything for that matter cannot exceed the surface of the bowling ball. So I'm going to show you how to cut those and make them look perfect and not look like they've been cut and they came like that from the factory. A lot of people ask me, how come you don't just cut the bottom of the grip and force it down into the hole and glue the front and glue the back and therefore you don't have to cut them. As you know, the finger grip comes just like that and that is the natural position of the finger grip. Anytime that we cut that grip and we force the direction of the back or the front of the grip, we are actually distorting the grip from its natural position. Therefore, it can cause it to wear faster. It also can change the size of that grip slightly, up to a half a size. And so, I'm going to show you how to let the grip sit naturally in the hole in its proper position, whether you use vacuum grips or whether you use just standard finger grips that are glued all the way around. And you're gonna have perfect flush grips and you can do this at home or as a pro shop operator, you can do this for your customers. And here is another way and another technique of how I do it. And, and we will get a close zoom in here on how I do it and the materials that you need so that you can do this to make your finger grips look correct and proper all the time. So let's get started and let's show you how to do it. Okay, so let's get started. So here we have a bowling ball where I've drilled a couple of fingers in. Obviously I have the bridge very wide and the reason for that is if you're doing a lot of grips for one person as a pro shop owner or uh, you personally doing it yourself, get a plastic ball, get an old ball, drill your pitches into it. Just makes it so much easier. Um, allows you to finish the grip properly before you actually stick it in your bowling ball. So this one here, three quarter rever uh, reverse and three quarter left. This one is zero side to side and three quarter reverse. So let's, let's go ahead and start cutting these. So we're gonna take a razor blade that we have. Um, the reason I use this size razor blade is one, it's easier to hold on to. Two, it has a longer blade length, makes it easier to cut. Now, the reason for the ball cleaner is to lubricate the razor knife. Anytime you try to cut rubber um, in any type of industry, anytime the steel goes to cut through the rubber, it, the rubber will try to grab that item. So when you're cutting, it's going to make it very rigid and very hard to cut. Therefore, you can slip, potentially cut yourself, anything like that. It also doesn't cut the rubber as well. So what I use the ball cleaner for is to lubricate the blade. So just give it a little spray on either side and just take the ball, start on the side that where it's flush. You're just gonna set the blade flat on the ball and you're just gonna pull in a motion like that. Okay, therefore, you see how easy that cut? Let's do this one as well. So you're gonna start at the front because it's flush there. You're just gonna kind of pull the blade toward you as you turn the ball. And there we have it. And those are now cut flush. Now, how do we finish them to make them look like they've never been cut? Well, that's why we have the X-Acto blade. So sometimes, depending on your pitches, the back side of that hole or the side of it is going to be a very sharp edge. Therefore, it can affect your cuticles, it can be sore on your fingers, your customer may not like it. So what you do is you take this razor, this uh, X-Acto knife and you just barely set it on the inside of the ball, on the inside of the grip and just barely cut a hairline off of the outside edge, or inside edge, sorry. Okay, and you're just barely cutting a little bit of a 45, a little bit of an edge off of there. You're not actually changing anything or changing the size of the grip. Then you'll take the grip, pull it up about an eighth of an inch, take your rag, acetone, stick it on the rag. I like to use my index finger. And what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna go in a circular motion. And you do this for about 15 seconds. Acetone evaporates so fast that it will not affect your grip, it will not dis distort your grip, it will not change the effects of your grip or damage your grip in any way. But what it does is just enough to melt the top of the grip just slightly 
and then run your finger kind of around on the inside just slightly so that you have and as you can tell you can see that that grip has doesn't even look like it's been cut it takes the fine cut lines out um, do it again let's do this finger just to kind of give you kind of go you know fairly quickly and just go in a circular motion both directions and you'll see you'll see it actually will change and take the cut lines off the top and just run your finger around the inside of the edge of the hole and there you have it those finger grips look like they've never been cut so therefore you can take them out now they're in a natural position you can see they've been cut you can stick them in your bowling ball slide them down in if this was the bowling ball you're just going to slide them down in they're perfectly flush now that is a, a finger grip that is just cut 31 32nd obviously so it's not a vacuum style grip so you know you'll just lightly glue the, the front you'll just lightly glue the back and away you go now if you're doing a vacuum grip um, you're going to do it the same way if you're doing it in the bowling ball um, nothing changes you're just going to do it the exact same way in the bowling ball so if we take a bowling ball that has grips that have already been installed let's say it's one of your old balls they're already installed therefore but they're still sticking up as you can tell so we're going to go through the same process obviously lubricate the, the blade a little bit we're going to obviously the front side is going to be flush we're just going to take and cut that you can see how easy that cuts by putting ball cleaner on the blade So, as you can see, perfectly flush. I like to take this. Some guys will use a, um, a bevel sander, um, just the shaft of the bevel sander to try to soften those, out, that, those back edges, but I like to use the, this exacto uh, knife because it, it's so sharp and it just barely cuts it. So you're just taking a sliver off of the bowling ball, or off the grip, sorry. And then uh, acetone again on your finger and these grips are installed so therefore you know I can't pull them up a little bit but you're still going to do a circular motion and you'll be able to see the grip change you'll be able to see the top edge start to change and you'll start to see the lines disappear and like I say it only takes about you know 15 20 seconds just run your finger around the inside of the hole uh, every time you do a finger always use a different spot on the rag because acetone evaporates so fast that what will happen is it'll be too grippy. Um, acetone will act like an oil base um, until it dries quickly. So therefore it allows your finger to slide around the hole easier. And then you'll rub the inside of the grip. And as you can see, those grips are cut and you cannot see that they've been cut and that the lines are gone. That is the best way that I have found to make your grips absolutely look perfect. The grips will sit in the hole and they will not be distorted in any way, shape or form. Um, if you're doing multiple grips, I suggest taking a bowling ball, cutting a couple of, get, get your uh, finger holes drilled into a bowling ball, keep that as a separate ball and use that to cut all your grips. Therefore you can turn around and cut five or 10 sets of grips and always have them. And when you get a new bowling ball drill, just slide them in and glue them and away you go. So here is a couple of bowling balls that I have done recently. Um, just to kind of give you a little bit closer zoom. Now these are vacuum grips. So therefore the grip is just glued on the front edge and at the back, but at the very bottom. And as you can see, how those grips sit nice and flush with the bowling ball and yet they don't look like they've been cut. Hey guys, well there you have it. That's the end of our video. Hope that helped. How to make perfect inserts for your bowling balls every time. Make them look like they came from the factory just for you. Um, as a pro shop operator, I drill for one of our girls on the PWBA tour and I will cut five to six sets of grips and send with her so that when she is out bowling, if she's set of her grips, 
get worn out or she decides she wants to replace them, she can pop them out by herself easily, put them in, glue them, and away she goes. So I hope this helps guys. I hope this helps you as a customer or you as a pro shop operator be able to make your finger grips look perfect every time. Thank you for watching and we'll see you next time. Thank <laughs> you.